This face is about to eat. It's about to munch, girl. It's about to be a buffet. Listen long, long enough, you can love me. Hey y'all, I'm back with somebody else's hair and guess what? This is another get ready with me. So this is a full get ready with me. So we'll be doing hair, makeup, outfit, and fragrance to go absolutely nowhere. I was supposed to go to Target, but I didn't end up going anywhere, but either way, we're gonna look good. So we're gonna start with the hair. I wanna say thank you to RPG Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. This gorgeous wig on my head, of course, is a natural textured wig. So this wig is the Invisible HD Lace Upgrade Clean Hairline 13 by six Lace Frontal Kinky Straight Wig. It is 22 inches long and 150% density and as you can tell this wig comes with a gorgeous kinky straight hairline it gives you realistic hairline as you can see it looks amazing the hair is super soft and i didn't bleach the knots i just pulled it right out of the box and we're just going to style it from here as you can see that hairline is giving very much natural it looks like it's growing out of my scalp already so i already know what i want to do with this hairline i'm going to use my red by kiss um what is this hot comb and i'm going to not flatten the hairline but blend the hairline into the hair so i'm i have it on 270 degrees it's not the hottest it's actually at the lowest temperature i think that's the lowest temperature and i'm just flattening it and blending it into the hairline so next i'm just going to go ahead and clip the hair back because all we need to do now is cut the lace i'm not tinting the lace because this is invisible lace so baby you shouldn't even be able to see that and i'm just gonna go ahead and cut it off that's it it was really really easy and simple and the great thing about this sort of hairline is that you don't need baby hairs you can just rock out okay like this is your real hair and as you can see even without applying the wig it looked like it was starting to blend so i was super excited i'm gonna go ahead and use the even lace bond spray in the black can this is my favorite i got it from amazon I know I got this one for my local beauty supply store, but you can get it from Amazon. I'll leave a link for it down below, but we're going to go ahead and apply the wig. I used two layers of the even spray to get a really, really secure hold. As you can see, you can kind of see my wig cap. We won't fix that later. Don't even worry about it because what we do here is really easy wig installs. Okay. So I'm going to do the same thing on the ear tabs. Y'all know the ear tabs are the hardest part, but we're going to do two layers, allow those to dry and get tacky. And once it's tacky, lay down the lace and that's it now this lace was blending into the skin beautifully and laying down it looked amazing but there was still like a little bit of that i don't know like a hologram like sort of white whitish tint you can't really tell but i get really really particular about my lace y'all know how i am about this lace so i'm going to do the same thing on the other side and make sure we get a nice sticky wig application i don't know what to call it like make sure this thing stick like it's glue now one thing i do notice is that i'm just not strategic about how i lay down my spray girl it's just it could be anywhere but there is a way to clean that up because it gets real messy on the forehead but first i need to make sure i get all the lifted edges and make sure i get a good melt and i'm using my wig dealer gel melting gel i forgot what this is called i love this stuff it does a great job of melting your lace and when i don't use lace tint I love using this to melt down the lace. I also want to make sure I define this part. So I'm going to take my hot comb and just go in, lay down the part a little bit, make sure it's more defined. And then I'm going to blend the hairline just a bit more, just blend the edges. But I still wanted to keep the natural texture at the very root of the hair because that's what makes it look like it's growing out of your scalp, friend. So as you can see, I have... Decided that I'm gonna cut the hair. Like, I know y'all sick of me, but I gotta cut my hair. I just gotta do it, friend. I gotta do it. So, I'm gonna go ahead and take um, some ends. I'm gonna cut the chop the ends off, but I'm also going to layer the front. I just take a triangle section and just cut it downwards. I do that on both sides and on the front layer because I just want it to be more face framing. And I notice that it makes the hair bouncier. Like it moves a little bit more, especially when I'm planning on curling this hair. And y'all know, I got to curl mama. I have to curl my kinky straight wigs. I think it adds more volume to the hair and more personality. So I'm just gonna keep trimming it. And as you can see, we got the layers we wanted. I also need to remove that girl, the spit hairline. <laughs> 
that's basically what we're gonna call it. It's really, really shiny up there. So I like to take a Q-tip and some micellar water. I used to use water, it doesn't do the job. Micellar water takes it all off, or most of it off. It's still shiny up there, but girl, I'm not worried about it. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and lay down the hairline, make sure she is melted. I want it to give very much scalp-like. So I'm just gonna lay that down, let it melt down. And while it's doing that, I'm gonna let that sit for like maybe 10 minutes and then we're going to pop this off. Actually, it was more than 20 minutes, girl. I went to lunch, <laughs> okay? I sat outside and let the heat get to it. And baby, it got really, really realistic. You know how your hairline like melts, melts? That's what it did. Now, I decided that I wanted to see if I could curl this hair with my Vasari comb or brush, uh, heating brush that I got from Amazon. No, ma'am. Mm -mm. It did nothing. It did get out some of those like little um, cr crinkles, I guess that's what you would call it, out of the roots. Um, and it kind of made the hair a little bit more, I wouldn't say silky, but like softer and a good prep for me to start curling it. But look at this hairline. Like, tell me that doesn't look like my hair. Like at this point, I'm not taking this wig off and I'm telling everyone I use castor oil every single day. I'm just gonna lie. <laughs> so next I'm gonna go ahead and decide to curl my hair. See, I already called it my hair, this hair. So I'm gonna use my cheese spinning curl and I'm going to curl away from the face. If you haven't seen my cheese spinning curl before, girl, get on it. I love this thing because I cannot curl hair to save my life with a curler. I just can't do it. Been doing hair for years, I can't do it. But I like to use my cheese spinning curl. I think it's a one and a half inch barrel. I'll leave a link for it down below. And what I do is just put the hair inside of the thing and then curl away from the face. That's it, you hold it for 19 seconds. I have it on a 19 second hold and then I'm gonna use my Pantene hair spray to um, set the curls. I do that on both sides and I allow the curls to do their thing. Now, once I spray both sides down, you can see that the hair is setting and forgetting, but we also need to get this hairline together. Remember I told y'all that the partation was not giving what I needed to give. So I'm gonna use my Bobbi Brown Walnut Skin Stick Foundation and I'm gonna go in and try and color in in between the wig cap and my actual scalp because y'all know I don't do the ball cap method. Now I wasn't giving exactly what I wanted to because obviously my part looks orange, but you know, once you rub it out a little bit, it's not really a big deal. So I'm gonna finger comb the curls and as you can see, Gorgeous, beautiful, but I'm gonna take a wide tooth comb just to really fluff up the curls and give them that, the look that I want. And this hair is so soft, like it's crazy soft and actually held the curl a lot better than some of the kinky straight wigs that I have. But as you can see, the curls are popping, the hairline is gorgeous. It looks like this hair is growing out of my scalp, which is perfect for just a natural sort of look where it's not looking too wiggy. You know, it looks like it's just like your hair, you know? And we love that. Now, if you are interested in this wig, I'll go ahead and leave a link for it down below. I think they have like a sale going on for tax season. So mama, check it out. I'll leave all that information down below. Now let's go ahead and get into the face. Okay, y'all, the hair is complete. I'm in love with this hair. I've been wearing it for a few hours. Um, and the lace is finally melted down a little bit better. Y'all know how your lace like melts better once you like get a little Get a little sweat and a little oil. <laughs> I'm in love with it. So next we get to do our makeup. Now, right now it's 719. I need to go to, <sighs> what am I blanking on? I can't do two things at once. I'm just putting a phone on a holder and I'm confused. I do need to go by um, Target to get some deodorant because I done ran out. I needed something else from there too. So maybe this could be a get ready with me to run to Target at night with a full face of makeup. But this is gonna be like a springtime sort of look because it's gonna have SPF in the foundation. But one thing that's new that I will be using is this Laneige, the glowy lip balm. I saw that Aaliyah's face. She recommended this and this is in Berry. It is like perfect. I, this is the lip balm that I use to sleep in and when I wake up, my lips are so soft. And if you know, if you've been watching my channel, my lips be giving very much bag of lace. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and prime the face. Girl, we're gonna get right into it. I'm gonna prime the face with my um, Bear With Me Prime Set and Refresh. It's an eight hour multitasking spray. I love this stuff. It does a great job of, you know, like priming my face, but I don't really believe in primer. Like, do y'all believe in primer? Cause I really don't. 
Okay, so I'm gonna start with my foundation. This is the Bobbi Brown foundation. I don't know if people sleep on Bobbi Brown or if it's like, like late. Like, is Bobbi Brown late? I don't know, but the stuff is good. And I tell you, I get all my makeup from the CCS. Cause I'm trying to say money, honey. Foundations are really expensive. And the Bobbi Brown foundation, which is a high quality foundation, is only um, 10 bucks. So, what I'ma choose? Hopefully this isn't too, too deep, but I guess I'll see. Oh, oh, okay. Um, this is real orange. Oh, oh, I can fix that. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, girl. <laughs> Y'all know I'm not afraid. <laughs> I should be afraid. Like, this is bad. <laughs> oh, it's giving Oompa Loompa. I can figure this out, though. Don't worry, girl. Don't worry about me. <laughs> I'm going to have to use a much lighter concealer to balance this out. But you see how this, like, um, orangeness aside, you see how this looks? Like, it looks amazing. <laughs> I'm from the age... The millennials, we were not afraid of orange makeup, okay? Orange makeup, that's where we thrive. You girls are scary. We were not afraid of orange makeup, you hear me? A little gray tinge. This is the Lip Bar Quick Conceal Concealer. This actually was sent to me in one of their PR packages. I know, PR package. I had to sign up for it, girl. This is the, this is actually a little bit too light, but it's perfect to balance out a look like this because I did way too much. So I'm gonna use the Quick Conceal Caffeine Concealer from Lip Bar. It, it doesn't budge, it's really creamy. It is amazing. Uh, what was I gonna say? But anyway, I have been doing pretty well. I complain about daylight savings time, or is it daylight savings time? Or the time, the fact that it gets dark so early. I've been complaining about that for a long time. And I think next week, we about, to, we about to go back. We about to spring forward. I know people don't like spring forward, but I love it. Like the fact that it gets so dark so early and then it's cold out just really sends, like it doesn't, I haven't been doing well with that. And it really is like literally a dark cloud over my head. My dad is the same way. My mom, I don't think as much, but we're getting on the other side, friend. I'm so excited. Oh, I don't know what to do. I'm so excited channel is doing well i want to say thank you to y'all i think last time i hit 80k it's been doing well but one thing i have been doing i'm gonna go ahead and blend this out am i gonna i think i'm just gonna do powder bronzer um i've been trying to grow on tiktok follow me on tiktok i'll leave it down below but i'm trying to figure out what content to put on there like i don't know what it is about getting older but like it is much more difficult to learn new things. Like I can't, cons oh girl, that's now it's way too light under my eyes, child. It's something about getting older that literally things I don't understand. I try to do TikTok dances and I cannot move. Like something like what I'm gonna do, girl? I can't do a TikTok dance and like trying to train myself to edit and figure out what people like on TikTok for me um, is a little difficult. And I also feel like people are a lot more vulnerable on TikTok. And I don't feel like that's like a weird, like it, it doesn't feel safe to me to be um, vulnerable on TikTok. I don't know how people be telling all their business. I'll be like, girl, <laughs> we didn't used to do that. Like people be telling all their business. Like, I don't even know, girl. Like, are y'all on TikTok at all? Like, let me know. Wow, this looks a fool. Like all of it. I don't like any of this. Girl, we just either stay at home or going to Target. So should I care? No. Y'all tell me what you think about, are y'all on TikTok? Do you like TikTok? If you're in the age group of 30s, like how are you adapting to TikTok? Because I'm trying to adapt. <laughs> I'm trying, but I will do it. I will adapt. It took me a long time to even adapt to Instagram. Like I don't even know what is happening. I need to get with it. I'm gonna take another sponge. I started using that powder puff thing that people the girls use on um youtube and i don't like on like the new trend i don't like it i don't like it i like to use a 
wet beauty blender, a damp beauty blender, and I like to apply it like that. Cause I feel like it stays a lot better and it feels like better on the skin because you're pressing it in with a little bit of moisture. Now this is just way too wet though. That's what she said. <laughs> Anything else? Any other updates? What else is going on? What do y'all want to talk about? Are y'all watching Real Housewives? I get to, I talk about Real Housewives in my vlog, but girl, this reunion is doing a lot. Like, it's really, really annoying. I'm setting, oh, did I tell y'all what I was using? I'm doing the, using the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I love this powder. I really, truly do. It's a really good powder. It sets really well, and it's like, it's not too heavy and it doesn't add texture. It just sets the makeup and I love that. But Real Housewives of Potomac is like annoying. It was frustrating to me. I think I talked about it in my vlog that I put up on Wednesday. It's starting to come together. Y'all see it, right? Like I'm not looking as crazy as I did in the beginning. Like y'all believe, I know what I'm doing. And Zoo, I know what I'm doing. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and bronze the face. So I'm gonna bronze using a fluffy powder brush. And this bronzer is a Bobbi Brown bronzer. It was, it's the Bobbi Brown bronzing powder in the color Deep Bobbi Brown. I have never, like I told y'all last time, I've never had, I've never been able to use a bronzer like that. Like I, I usually just find a darker powder cause it's difficult for me to find bronzers that are like right in my skin tone. And they look, always look so light in the container. Like this does not look like that reddish color, but it ends up working out. So just gonna add a little bronzer to the face. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, ah, ah. Why do I make that sound? And do it under the chin. I'm gonna get this nose and I'm just gonna go Beside the nose like that. I really don't be contouring my nose like that. I just like for it to be bronzed and shaped. But as far as like a full contour, I don't really care. <laughs> I feel like I don't care about much when it comes to makeup and I probably should. Oh baby, it's coming together though. This face is about to eat. It's about to munch, girl. It's about to be a buffet. Girl, we're basically almost done. I'm gonna throw in some blush and baby, we'll be done. Really easy and simple. Oh no, I gotta do my eyebrows. I did my eyebrows a little bit already, but I like to do my eyebrows twice. Repowder them and then do my eyebrows. So the only blush that I've been using lately is the Lip Bar Blush in Grinding in this uh, Boss Moves palette. Y'all know this is the only blush I use. I need to find new blushes, I promise y'all. I feel like I need to go to Sephora and buy some stuff but girl when i went to sephora i walked in and i got like that lip gloss that lip balm and i think it was like 15 bucks which is like a lot of money for a lip balm to me 15 to 20 bucks something like that but girl there was somebody else in there and she had spent 200 dollars and she only got a couple things i was just thinking like i, can't, I need to like get over spending that amount of money on makeup but i just still can't justify it because i feel like this look it's like a $30 look and it still is E. You know what I'm saying? No, it's not $30, maybe 50, 60. Cause that Laura Mercier powder is expensive, but I just can't, I'm trying to figure out like what are these foundations doing? I'm just too cheap for that. Uh, let's see, next I'm gonna go ahead and do, can we do, should we do eyeshadow? I don't know if I feel like eyeshadow. I guess I can do eyeshadow. I'm gonna use this lip bar brush that they sent me and I'm going to use what sort of, what eyeshadow? I'm gonna use my bronzer and just use it on my eyelids real quick. So I'm gonna take the Bobbi Brown bronzer and take my blending side of my lip bar brush and I'm just gonna apply that to the eyelids. Like literally, this is my go-to look. Baby, I'm always late, but I feel like what I usually would switch up is the foundation. But typically, when I'm doing like my makeup looks, I just add, I'll switch the foundation for more coverage, but literally this is about <laughs> the same thing. Do y'all just have like a, I don't know if it's a makeup rut or just like, I'm gonna use the other end and put the bronzer on the lower lid. But do y'all have like just a go-to makeup look that just eats every time and you try to figure out like why, why would I switch up? 
like my makeup like I'm not what's the point girl it's still pretty so I'm gonna use um, the Big Timer Mascara from Lip Bar. It's the volumizing mascara. It's a really good mascara. I mean, mascara is mascara to me. I wear lashes, so I just like to add mascara to my lower lid, so. That's what I was saying, my camera cut out. I was able to get some sunlight today, and girl, I'm a brand new girl. It's like a difference between like you, me, it, it's a huge difference. I'm a whole new person when I get sunlight. It is so freaking strange. <laughs> like, do I need like a tanning bed in my house? Like, what's up? Anyways, okay, so I'm gonna powder my brows using that little triangle thing that the girls be ranting and raving about. Okay, I'm gonna use this and I'm just gonna powder my brows. This is a trick that I saw Tasha Washa or, um, Tasha here on um, YouTube. I've seen her do this trick. Powdering your brows, I swear to you, it makes a world of difference. I tell you every single time. Do it. Do it. So I have the NYX pencil. This is very similar to the lip bar pencil. This is the NYX micro brow pencil. The lip bar pencil is also a micro brow pencil. Um, and this is in the color espresso, I think. Or is it black? Oh, this one's black, child. About to be in there looking like was it the Grinch? <laughs> Underline these brows. And then just. Oh, y'all see that? Okay, and I'm just gonna do hair like strokes in the brow and then I just line the outside but I definitely go in there oh, baby I need to get this <laughs> mouth water and under control baby okay okay I'm just gonna go ahead and brush these eyebrows out do both sides um, for my lips, I'm gonna go ahead and use Old Faithful. I'm gonna go ahead and use my NYX Rebel Kind Lip Pencil. NYX Line Loud. I love this lip pencil. Is that a pimple? Oh, girl. It's cause I fell asleep in my makeup. <gasps> what type of overline is that? Oh. Okay, that was too much lip balm. I'm looking real bright in the middle. Okay, girl. Is that how I walk around Target? Yes. Mm. Okay, so the lipstick that I'm using is a NYX Lingerie uh, Seduction Color Matte Lipstick. Girl, I don't know. Um, why am I blanking? I think I'm gonna add a little lip gloss. So I'm gonna use the lip injection. Do I feel like it? Uh, I don't feel like doing anything else. So I'm gonna use um, the Too Faced Lip Injection Lip Gloss. These are like $5 from the CCS. And look at how pretty that is. It's like a pretty pinky color and it also is lip plumping. And I just don't be feeling like my lips be like as big as I want them to be. But I do not want to get lip plumpers, so. Oh, it burns my lips every single time. Why do I put myself through this? It's not even that necessary. Okay, so we're gonna set all of this makeup with my NYX Bear With Me Prime Set and Refresh. I already used this in the beginning. I'm just gonna set it and forget it. And then we're gonna go ahead and get changed. So, let me spray this down. change real quick and then maybe we can head out I'll show y'all what I'm wearing and then we can head out so let me show you what I'm gonna wear okay y'all so this is the outfit I'm trying to figure out how should I angle this but this is like this is doing a lot for Target but this can be also worn throughout throughout the day so mm, mm, mm. I don't know let me pull this back some let me see if I can get this dress was from Nordstrom Rack. 
so it's like a really really cute dress i got it offline maybe two years ago so but it's like a wrap dress super cute really comfortable let me show you how long it is because it's hard to see the whole outfit it's long and i have on a pair of nike tennis shoes i'm so happy with the trend of like wearing tennis shoes with everything because i'm wearing it okay i'm about to it's about to get orthopedic and i love it it's super comfortable and my toes are a mess i ain't got my press on toenails on i'll leave the brand on the screen or down below if i can find it i will leave it but it's so cute hopefully i can find some similar on amazon or something got the nike zooms i have one i always throw on this jewelry this is an amazon nine west watch and this is a a kate spade bangle that i got from nordstrom I actually really, i was gonna take it back but it's not it feels like it's about to fall off because it's too big for my wrist this necklace that my husband got me that's it am i gonna put on a fragrance girl let's do a body spray i usually wear this at night like right after a shower this is the caramelized vanilla macadamia brazilian crush brazilian bum bum sold sold janeiro body spray i think it's just like an easy vanilla smell not too bad <coughs> So this is my coach i forgot the name of this bag i'll leave a link for it down below it's a coach bag carry this with me i can put everything in it and i don't have to have anything in my hand because i especially at night if i'm going somewhere at night i don't want nothing in my hand girl i need one hand to be like you know what i'm saying well pow i'm gonna show y'all what the what does the whole fit look like does this look cute or is this orthopedic it's giving very much orthopedic it's orthopedic hopefully you enjoyed this get ready with me this was like a random get ready with me girl and i really need to go to the store to get some deodorant <laughs> like real bad because i'm over here scraping my armpits with the container <laughs> but i want to say thank you to you all hopefully you enjoyed this get ready with me and hopefully you enjoyed this hair i love you all thank you so much for watching and again i want to say thank you to rbg hair for providing this week to me and sponsoring the beginning portion of this video <sighs> now let's get out of here I love you all and I'll see you in my next video.